Mission 1296 here with another video review, this time of Star Wars The Clone Wars Darth Maul Returns 3 pack consisting of Savage Press, Darth Maul, and the Night Sister. So here you go. So before we go into the figures, let's go over the packaging. Of course, it's the standard uh, 3 pack packaging. You've got the cards, the base, and the die. It is a Target exclusive. On the back here, you have a really nice kind of battle scene of the figures. I like that about these three packs. They always have some kind of nice little scene in the back there, and that's really cool. So yeah, so um, so this was a pack that I was excited for uh, because I love Darth Maul. I love Darth Maul, and I thought the Sabajo Press was a fantastic figure, and the Night Sister. I'm not a big fan, but the figure looked really nice. So overall, uh, it was a no-brainer to get this, and uh, yeah, I picked it up, of course, at Target for twenty dollars, which is not a bad price consisting uh, considering that uh now the figures each figure is like ten dollars a piece then it's it's like buy two get one free pretty much with this pack pretty cheap so yeah so uh let's go over the figures first let's start off with Savage Press so Savage Press is the only figure that is not original to this pack um he was released single carded uh last year maybe yeah, I think it was just last year. It might have been the year before. But yeah, so pretty cool. So this was a fantastic figure, and this is my third Savage Press in this form. Um, of course, I do have the shirtless one, and I also have a loose one like this, and a mint one like this, so now I've got another loose one like this. Um, so yeah, but you know, he's such a great figure, you gotta have a bunch. So anyway, the head sculpt is fantastic, of course. you got the nice spiky horns, and it just looks identical to Savage Press. That's one of my big things about this figure, is that the face sculpt was perfect. Perfect, absolutely spectacular. The whole body sculpt and everything is very nice. The hands are great for holding uh, his weapons. He does have a real cloth um, kind of cape or whatever you want to call it down here, which is nice. And the legs are cool. They look very animated, which is pretty neat. And then the back there, very nice. So yeah, so he comes. Uh, he doesn't come with his double bladed lightsaber like he does did in the single pack. He just comes with his axe. It's the same axe that was in the single pack. It, it comes with this bullet that you you know you just you plug it in here, and um, yeah, you just snap it in there, and then you're just supposed to push this, and uh, just by friction it will pop out and shoot. It does shoot pretty far, but it just like, it, it sucks because it's not a spring. I've never been a fan of that kind of uh, shooting gimmicks. I, I don't think that they work really well and uh, they're just not too much fun. So yeah, so now we have, um, let's go over the Night Sister. So the Night Sister, if I'm not mistaken, she had a name in the show, I think at least. The Night Sisters are, uh, you know, this kind of group that, um, that uh, Savage Ventress is part of too, and she's kind of like the leader of them. So yeah, so she kind of creates Savage Opress. I, I really don't know what her deal is too much. She just likes creating havoc, I guess. I don't know. I, I, it's very odd. But anyway, she comes with a lightsaber, which is really nice. It looks really cool. It's got some silver, some gold highlights, and then red blade. The only thing is, I don't remember her having a lightsaber in the show. Is that just me, or uh, am I forgetting something? Because I really didn't think that she had one. So yeah, so um, but she does come with a lightsaber if you wanted her to use that. Also, um, I'll show you later what uh, what what kind of looks cool. But anyway, she's a nice figure. She has a great head sculpt with her hair and everything. It's done very nice. There's a lot of detail. In all, each of these feathers it really looks like feathers which is really nice there's actually a little bit more detail on the back I wish that I could have shown that uh, make sure when you're looking in the package that you get one with her feathers not being packaged uh, badly this was this is the only feather that was packaged uh, kind of like this in the package so uh, so it is a bit um, bended out of place but other than that all the other uh, feathers are really nice as far as articulation she's got a ball drawn head ball hinge shoulders hinge swivel elbows swivel wrist swivel waist hinge hips, hinge swivel uh, knees, and hinge swivel ankles. So overall pretty nice articulation. Um, considering that most Clone Wars uh, characters don't have ankle articulation, she does have more than the usual, plus she um uh, plus she uh, doesn't, she has knee articulation, which has just been starting to take out of Clone Wars figures, so it's good that she has it. Savage Press has the exact same articulation, just lack of uh, ankle, just so you know, I forgot to go over his. So now the real reason that you're probably going to buy this pack is for the Darth Maul figure, very popular character, and uh, yeah, so the figure is pretty cool. Um, of course, this is the look after he's been cut in half by Obi-Wan with the mechanical legs, and uh, after he's been kind of, uh, I don't know, shaken up by his brother and not so crazy and in a spider thing. But anyway, here he is. He looks really cool. I like the face. It, it's He's got like kind of a dull look. That's the only thing there. There's 
like there's no emotion. I mean, with Savage Press, he just looks kind of upset. Him, he just he doesn't look like anything. She's got an evil smile going on. So yeah, so he's just got this dumb, dull look, like he's watching TV. So yeah, so don't love that. But what you gonna do? Um, the body and everything is very nice. It's very Clone Wars ish. You can definitely tell, which is cool. And uh, the mechanical legs are done really nicely. They almost uh, are like modern Grievous legs almost. They really look cool and they don't have the Grievous legs uh, syndrome with the uh, soft rubber plastic feet where he can barely stand. This is hard plastic pretty much so he is uh, able to stand very well. He comes with a um, uh, he comes with a here here's what it comes with. So he comes with this little kind of a spinning gimmick type thing which can uh, you can plug in the um, the lightsabers into to make it like I don't know I don't know what it's supposed to be, like he's twirling it. You can put it in his hand and then you can spin the lightsaber because it is on the joint here. So yeah, so it's a nice gimmick at least. Um, I would have been mad if you couldn't uh, remove the uh, the lightsabers, but you can remove the lightsabers. And you can also plug the lightsabers into each other, make it the double-bladed lightsaber. The only thing is though, in the show he did not wield the double-bladed. He, uh, he only had one blade, Savage Press had the double-bladed. So yeah, so I like to just give him the one blade. I think that looks pretty nice. And then, uh, yeah, so overall pretty nice figure. He's got a ball joint head, ball hinge shoulders, hinge shovel elbows, ball hinge thighs, and um, uh, hinge shovel knees, and hinge shovel ankles. So overall pretty good, lacking wrist, but other than that has pretty much uh, pretty great articulation. And no swivel waist. Uh, swivel waist would have been cool. You can get this guy in some kind of knee poses, uh, fighting, you know, Obi-Wan and stuff, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, so let me just pause it really quick. So this is kind of what I thought about and what I was going to tell you when I was doing her review, but I decided just to wait. Um, the little spinny thing that uh, that has his lightsabers going out, Darth Maul's lightsabers, I thought that it would be kind of cool to give it to her. I thought that that looks pretty neat because she did use, you know, all the magic and stuff. And now she has this, like, magic thing. Looks pretty neat. And, uh, yeah, just kind of cool if you wanted to make it more accurate. I think that this is a more accurate accessory and kind of looks cool. So, yeah. So overall, this pack is very cool. I do really like it. Uh, the Dar the Savajo Press is a great Savajo Press, but uh, chances are you have it. I mean, when it came out, it was extremely hard to get. So um, so there is a possibility you don't have it. And if you don't have it, this is awesome to get. And uh, just a great figure. I'm sure you've heard uh, reviews a year ago or whatever. Everyone loves that Savajo Press. As far as the Night Sister, she's really cool. She's got a lot of detail and really nice. The only thing is... Uh, I don't know, she's not a huge character, um, I really, I'm not even, I don't even like the character very much, but she is okay, so if you like, uh, this, she's great for this pack. As single carded, I don't think that they'd sell very many, but for this pack, she's really nice, she fits in with the two brothers, so I do, uh, so she was a great one to be the third in this pack. They could have easily re, uh, packaged another figure and just had Darth Maul being the new one, and it would sell just as well, I, I pretty much believe so, so it's nice that we do get a whole nether sculpt, um, for this pack, which is great. As far as the Darth Maul, it's why you're buying this. Um, there's not too much special with it. That's the only thing I'd say. Uh, it's it's very Clone Wars-ish from the um, from the waist up and from the waist down. It is pretty mechanical. It's kind of cool. Has some white smearing and uh, that the the smearing of the white in his legs that does differ from each and every figure. So make sure you're checking out his legs and package to get the best one that you like the best. Um, I had to do that. I like this combination the best. So yeah. So overall, he is pretty cool. They all have pretty great, uh, pretty good articulation. I mean, um, lack of wrists, uh, lack of wrists in Darth Maul, lack of ankles in uh, Savage. Uh, the Night Sister pretty much has great articulation. So overall, pretty happy with this uh, set. I'm really glad I got it, and uh, I think that you guys will like it too. So there you go. So that's my very review of uh, Star Wars: The Clone Wars, Darth Maul Returns three pack of Savage Press, Darth Maul, and the Night Sister. Thanks for watching.